Hi, um, this is Amanda Gale. I run a 32 Intrepid and I was just wondering if you guys would be able to fill it up tomorrow. Uh -huh. um, I was just wondering what time they'd be going tomorrow. Um, I can't give you an exact time, but it probably sometime in the early afternoon. Okay, that's fine. As long as it's like before five o'clock. Oh yeah, way before. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, you know where the boat is? It's at the... Yep. Oh, okay. We have all cool. your information. Okay, thank you. Yep. Bye. All right. <laughs> Step one, what was that? Calling the fuel truck to deliver fuel to our boat for, we have, um, one, two, three, four. We have four charters in a row this week and our fuel tank's like completely empty. So we need to basically have it topped off. And then we'll probably, well, I don't think we're gonna need more after all that, but basically it's cheaper for the fuel truck to go. So if I know we need it completely filled up, we get the fuel truck to deliver the fuel. And then if in the middle of the week we're in a pinch, we'll get it from the marina. So just another everyday thing to keep in mind how much fuel's in the boat because our fuel gauge doesn't work too. So we have to really watch it. Super important step to prepping for our charters is ice because if we don't have ice then the fish gets warm and mushy and it's gross. So we're at Publix right now. We live in an apartment which means we have a chest freezer on our balcony. We go from Publix to the apartment. We put the ice in the apartment chest freezer and then we have charters. We drag the ice from the chest freezer to our car and from the car to the boat. It's this never ending process because the chest freezer isn't that big. We can't store that much ice in it but we're always trying to get ice because ice on the water is so expensive at the marinas. It's like $4 for 10 pounds whereas here we can get I think 20 pounds for like two dollars something like that so we're at Publix doing the important stuff we're gonna get some waters Gatorades and all the necessities to go fishing <laughs> Good morning everybody this morning i have made a green juice smoothie um for those of you that have been following us you may know that we don't do caffeine in the morning so this morning i have a green juice smoothie with some green powder in it and protein powder along with a nice little bowl of cereal after we're done eating breakfast we'll get all the rods together load the car and get going to the boat it's 6 12 in the morning we've already set up the boat we rigged our rods Thankfully, it was actually pretty quick today. Everything's been rigged to how we needed it. So that was, uh, radio turned on. Anyways, we had some extra time this morning after we rigged our rods. So we went to Starbucks. Where did my coffee go? Where did my coffee go? I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah, like a front. You have to front. Probably put it on the seat. No, probably put it in the car. No, you didn't. Did you? You must have. All right. Anyways, my coffee's gone. Um, I know. I don't know if Emma's already. We really don't drink coffee ever, but today we felt like going, so I made myself an espresso, and I don't have it, so I'm not having coffee. <laughs> no big deal. So we're about to head out, go get our people, and start the charter. <laughs>
Bonita. We're on. Yeah, that's that's right there. Our car was big, right? Yeah. You can put that out. Taking a kingfish? Oh yeah. <laughs> the day, well the charter, the charter is over. It's complete. Um, we caught four kingfish and I think like quite a few bonitas. Several bonitas and we could have kept catching kingfish and bonitas but our anglers who happen to also be captains and fishing guides, they really wanted to target blackfin tuna. So we pushed offshore for some black fins and unfortunately did not find any. So it was all about the kingfish and the bonitas today. I just staked a kingfish for them to take home. They are letting us keep three of them, which is really nice. We'll give it to some friends, have them smoke it or something. And now we're just gonna slap some bonitas to make bonita strips in the future. These bonitas are going to become the bait. That's a the big best one. Bait out of Pompano Beach, Florida. It is pretty good. It's really good for deep diving. And strips. Yeah, and Bonita strips for pulling behind cleaners. Oh. These are the extra kingfish that our wonderful angler today did not want. They kept just enough for themselves. And we are going to put that fish to good use. So basically, sorry guys, I don't know. I went on this airplane. <laughs> All we're doing with these bonitas, guys, is just getting the meat off. We're just gonna get the slab and freeze them just like that. So when we're ready to use it for bait, it is much easier. All right, now let's um. Let's so wait, let's. T what do, how do we throw a fish carcass overboard without it floating? Make sure it doesn't float away. Poke the eyes out. Break the back. In case you're ever wondering, or if you live somewhere where you have water that's stagnant and it doesn't have a lot of current, then I'm going to toss it over and you're going to watch all the jacks attack this. Wait, hold on. So it's going to the side. Okay, I'm ready. Ready? Go. There they are. Here I they see. come. Here they come. There they go. Oh. It's gone. They weren't that interested. Oh, Sometimes. There, 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 by the pelican. See them all? Now they're showing up. Oh yeah. Flush motor number two, then we can leave it. 
the boat. Yep. So flushing the motors is highly important. Probably, I don't know. A very important step. But... Don't go overboard. <laughs> And we gotta plug the boat in. All right, guys, the day is over. We hope you enjoyed watching all of the prep work, or I should really say some of the prep work that goes into charter fishing. Today was a full day. We caught some kingfish, bonitas. We had some action. Try for tuna. Yes. No success there, but it happens, guys. It's fishing. So we hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and following. If you would like more, please like this video and subscribe. And don't forget Gale Force Twins on Instagram, Facebook, Facebook and YouTube. YouTube. And that's everything. Thanks for watching.